Welcome back, guys. I am going backwards here. Parking my truck. I'm gonna do a little bit of trucking today. I'm gonna be hauling some mulch. I'll show you which truck I'm running. I don't know if I've ever run this one before with you guys with. So, check it out. Get my paperwork. Here it is. This is truck number 112, pulling a Western belt trailer. I'm gonna get it fired up and get on the road. I was uh, running around this morning, got a little bit later start. This is like a little afternoon. So hopefully I can crank out a few loads this afternoon. Just kind of catching up for the weekend here. Cannot forget my pair of gloves, guys. And my phone charger. For some reason, my phone seems to die pretty quick. Like I said, uh, just kind of catching up here with mulch it's kind of crazy because it's kind of weather dependent you could have a day or two where it rains and then things kind of slow down and then all of a sudden it just yeah, there's 20 30 40 loads pop up you got to get them done so like i said playing a little catch up so guys as you saw in my last video like i said i run a lot of different trucks this is one of my most favorite trucks and i didn't get to drive it at hardly at all this spring so i really enjoy driving different trucks because it does give me an opportunity to see you know, if there's anything wrong. A lot of times the drivers, they get used to driving them, they get used to the rattles or whatever it is. You know, I hop in it and I look for all the odd stuff and every once in a while, I find something. When I was running the white truck, I found a piece of the suspension that was cracked. So something that gets fixed, you know, I write it up. This truck, so far looking good. But like I said, I look for all the odd stuff. Some guys say you gotta, you know, check the tire pressure. These trucks come in every 5,000 miles. And if you can't tell that you're up to pressure with just by kicking the tires, I mean, I kicked tires and I could tell they were soft. I don't go around check each one. It'd be one thing if we're, we'd be spacing out our services a lot longer, but this rig, they come in every 5,000 miles for service. So I, I go around and I look for all the odd stuff. These trailers, basically brand new, so I'm really not too worried about here. But I still look for odd things, and you will find them every once in a while, like something that's not right, something that maybe uh, someone that's running it daily would overlook. Obviously, lights are all working. Every once in a while, you'll find a cracked rim. You'll find just something, something odd. This is actually an older truck. I'll tell you more about it. I just want to check my turn signals yet and uh, we're going to be on the road. This truck, no AC. I don't think so anyway. So I'll tell you a little bit about this rig. It's a 2000 W900, uh, 550 Cat. And I remember when this truck was rebuilt, it was rebuilt by Milton Cat out of Batavia. And I want to say we were pushing just over 500 horsepower to the ground, which is pretty good for a stock 550. Today I'm gonna to be running a load of mulch, probably multiple loads, I don't know how many.
can't see this guys but this corner it's like this and it's kind of hard so we'll see where these cars stop if they stop at the line or if I can actually swing that corner sometimes it gets a little bit interesting I'm trying to hug this lane over here a little bit here we go a Chevy Impala that pulls up beyond the line here to get loaded I gotta go out roll my tarp open come back through this is where some of these like you say freight trucks Volvos some of them they're just they're not gonna cut it right now it's dusty but when it's not dusty it's muddy a lot of those trucks have skirting and stuff hanging down and literally falls off or breaks off the reason I don't pull my trailer brakes is because I let the trailer build up with air while he's loading it. That way, when he's done loading, I don't have to wait. Look at that sky. Hopefully, I can uh, get loaded before it rains. It's actually starting to drip right now. Here's some of the issues we've been having with these Western trailers. You're not supposed to pack, and these bows right here are not that strong. So our new trailer's coming in. If you see that big bow in there, it's coming in with four of those bows in here that will hopefully help with instead of getting these bows bent we're constantly welding them and fixing them instead of that happening they'll stay hopefully stay straight and we won't have that issue of fixing these little bows just four big bows that way they can't go down in and pack it i'm sure you guys seen the process it's a kamatsu loader with a big rollout bucket i'll show you real quick one scoop that bucket is basically on almost like a set of forks so it's on forks and it just rolls out when he gets it up there lets you reach a lot higher have bulk trailers or those of you uh, that have walking floors or belt trailers I'm sure you've seen these rollout buckets before but they are kind of cool well guys believe it or not I've never delivered here before but I've been here before this is actually a new facility for this guy I say new it's he was just down the street where he used to uh, start out and I remember delivering there with our T800 dump truck so I'm going to swing this door this bin is super narrow so I'm gonna to try to get back in there as far as I can and get this load unloaded. is my struggle I wasn't thinking right I can't go back any further because my door is scraping on the other side and I gotta figure out see if I can reach this because that's the control valve to turn the belt on so I get that turned on uh, I'm a little a little worried because this door back here this is what we get into this door is tight against the wall and that little lip right here this lip I'm afraid it's gonna catch so I just got to be really careful ease in front so I don't bust anything I'm gonna try to turn the other way and in the midst of a pit downpour so I could have gotten over a little bit it's inches it's it's a matter of inches so tight live and learn right next time I know to be super tight on this side basically scraping on this side 
turn my valve on before I back in. So now that I opened that valve, all I have to do is turn the PTO on and it will start running. PTO is just a simple switch and away I go. There it is, guys. Let's see if the door shuts now. It's the real test, getting this door shut. Tight bins, wide bins. Any time, any kind of bins, we'll get it in there. Just gotta drop my paper in the box over here. So it looks like this place has grown so much. When I was delivering over by his house, he was just starting out, had like one or two pickups. And now these are probably his spare trucks. Obviously with Fords, you have to have more spare trucks. Anyway, we'll get into that later. That was a good one. The guy grew. He's got a lot of trucks. Does plowing, landscaping, all kinds of good stuff. It's good to see local companies that have grown. Again, from one to two trucks to, he's got payloaders, backhoes, skid loaders, and these are just a small part of his trucks. So he's got many more, many more of the guys who are out working. Another thriving business in upstate New York, which is a good thing. Going back in for number two. One of our trucks leaving. So I was gonna do trucking a little bit later tonight. The good news is, is I don't have to. So I'm just gonna load one more for the yard and call it a day. This last load comes into the yard here at her shop. Look who's washing. Wonder what he'd say if I take the front end of his truck off. Gotta kinda make my way back through the back, loop around, and it goes right into this bin. Ready to unload. Just simply adjusting this valve. CFO for the shop. I think we have it. I don't know. I've been out today. I got more on that coming up. Hopefully in the next video, I'm going to give you just a quick look at it and also tell you about the party we're getting ready for. Guys, thanks for riding with today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.